people, what is up, ninjas? My name is Sand World here with the Raga Master. What is up, guys? It seems like Christmas came early. Brooks did a masterclass for free, and Armin is releasing one. So, Brooks did a walkthrough of his new song called Boomerang, while at the same time teaching us some really cool things. It's gonna benefit more of the future bounce guys because they're gonna get to see how simple it is to make a Brooks track. But the difference between a future bounce guy and Brooks is the experience and also the 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 ability he has to make his ideas come to life. You know, a lot of times we know the same amount as the big guys do. The only difference is that they have better ideas, more resources to make those ideas come to life. But these are gonna be five things I got from the Brooks Masterclass that I hope that you guys that watched it already paid attention to. And for those of you guys who haven't watched it, I hope that if you do watch it, you get these five things out of it. Make eight simple songs sound good then one extremely difficult sound and you want to uh, make that one your lead so for me it's easier to just uh, combine everyone every keep it simple and then just try to add sounds after sound the first thing guys is to keep it simple a lot of people walk into these master classes thinking that they're gonna learn some crazy new techniques some crazy new plugins some crazy way of processing leads and that's not the case guys if you look at brooks brooks keeps it super simple pick good sounds right off the bat minimal processing he goes on to say that instead of processing he likes to add more layers to his lead through spire um, so that's one of the things you need to get from that guys one of the biggest critiques i get on this youtube channel is that my tutorials are basic and simple at the at the same time i'm going okay tell me one thing that is complex that i can teach these guys that will help them make better music and a lot of the times they give me some bullshit lingo trying to sound smart with their fancy words and i'm like so why don't you just say it this way you know a lot a lot of times these guys just make me laugh guys because you guys know everything you need to know to make music the only difference is that you need to practice it everyone knows what compression is but no one knows how to apply it because no one practices it so practice keep things simple that's the first thing i got from the brooks masterclass and that's also a great part to like add some variety to your bass line again it's just some sample again, uh, it's probably from a dustup pack again. The second thing I got from the Brooks Masterclass is not to be afraid to use your resources. For instance, if you have the Vengeance packs, the Leviathan packs, they're really big on bass one shots and one and synth one shots. And Brooks uses them in his little fills that you guys like to hear a lot. Now, this is smart because if you're not that great of a sound designer or you cannot find the right preset, but you find this nice synth one shot or bass shot, use it that way. Get the audio fall and do it and try and make it sound complex. Brooks does it and it's a super smart way. Don't spend two hours trying to figure out how to make that come to life in Serum. Spend time going going and using those bass one shots to synth one shots now if you are anal about it then at the end when you're done with your song then you can be like all right i want to make my own i don't want to use this bass one shot that everyone has access to so that's going to be the second one guys don't be afraid to use bass and synth one shots that's one thing i have not seen a producer so far do live for people brooks is the first one i've seen do that where they use the bass and the synth one shots but it's super helpful and i know a lot of people that can get more complex drops that way because they don't have to worry about finding the right preset in serum and, and tuning it and, and changing the cutoff knob and all that well in that case could you maybe show us one little secret one secret the, one secret you used to, um uh, let me check if i have any that's what i do with every synth. like with it without this pitch automation it's, it's would sound a lot more dull and the third thing you need to get from the Burks masterclass guys is gonna be these crazy pitch automations he does on this lead as you guys know i made a video called how to get the brooks lead or the secret to the brooks lead in that video i talk about these pitch bends where you have the midi overlapping with mono legato on on the synth you get these kind of do up do up so brooks actually doesn't do it that way as the way i taught in the video he actually does pitch bends with just you know coordinate point system and he does it to every single note not just certain notes in in every single note he has like it going up and down and he talks about how the drop sounds very dull without it now to me it makes sense because the saw when it comes out is very lifeless it's a lifeless thing it doesn't have movement to it unless you put an lfo and all that so the way brooks gives it live gives it like it's alive is by doing those pitch bends those pitch variations there definitely something that everyone can do in their own productions and future bass in trance in hip-hop to their leads and i think it's pretty smart from him that's one of the things he talked about it being a secret because some guy asked him to reveal a secret from him and that was one of them so i'm glad he revealed that secret i made a video on it just a little bit different but it's the same concept is in the reverb and what i well, let's, i had the speed controller and this reverb and I link those two together. So every time the, the, the sound plays, this plugin notices it. And because it's linked to the reverb, it's gonna react to each other. So every 
fourth thing guys is the w and w effect or the brooks effect now so that's the act of having a reverb that gets reduced when the lead hits and then gets let go when the lead is gone so you get like da -da, da -da. so it's kind of like that breathing effect i first heard it on the above and beyond album sun and moon and that's when i figured out how to do it i made a tutorial called the ww effect on doing it with a compressor you sidechain the lead to um, so Brooks does it a different way. He uses the P controller and whenever the lead hits that P controller Then pretty much the reverb on the on the reverb the, the wet goes down And when the lead is not hitting that P controller the reverb is allowed to let go So he talks about it in that video and I hope that now everyone that was asking how to do it They know how to do it and finally guys the last thing is the insight Brooks offers on all his things in the track Every sound he has in there has a purpose and he goes on to explain why it has a purpose from the vocals in the outro from these fills that he has, from the pitch automations, from the WNW effect or the Brooks effect now. He talks about it um, and he talks about it in a way of like, kind of like, I wanted this because it did this. I wanted this because it did that. He just didn't put it because he felt the track felt empty. He wanted it for a certain reason. And that's one thing, guys. Every sound in your song should have a purpose. Might be just adding atmosphere. Might be just giving the lead extra dirt by adding a stereo layer to it. Remember, guys, mono layer, stereo layer. He goes on to talk about how his lead didn't sound as good. So he added another layer to it instead of processing it more. He adds a stereo layer to a mono lead. And he also uses Spire. So that's kind of cool. I think he's trying to opt out from Spire because he doesn't want to sound like everybody else but guys down below in the comments let me know things that you learned from the brooks master class let me know in detail i'll try and respond to some of you guys and be like yeah that was super cool too and all that and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video a lot of you guys wanted to see me react to it but i wanted to make a video like this i think it's a lot cooler anyways guys big up to brooks again for being very humble and showing his you know walkthrough of the track remember keep things simple and at most of all the most important thing guys is to have fun making the music that you want to make not what the mainstream wants but what you want all right ninjas you guys take care and i'll see you guys next time peace out